He is still fighting for truth, justice, and the American way. But old fans may not recognize today's Superman. Jonathan Towers reports. The comic book aficionados waited patiently. Lone Star Comics. Finally, the truck pulled up, the boxes unloaded and ripped open. The moment had arrived. Bum, bum, bum. Levi, Man of Steel, number one. It's here now. It was the first shipment in town of the new Superman comic books, America's superhero reborn. The new series, which DC Comics is hoping will boost sagging Superman comic sales, doesn't exactly start from scratch. It begins with a six-issue miniseries, retelling the Superman legend from life on the planet Krypton. Only this time, our hero is born as a test tube baby. In his life as Clark Kent, the old-fashioned horn-rimmed glasses are gone. Now, he sports a chic frame you might see in an Esquire magazine ad. This new Superman may be a man of steel, but the people rushing to buy these copies hot off the presses say it isn't brawn that makes him so appealing. He can be vulnerable. He can be hurt if, if he's not careful. There'll be more interaction with, with um, his uh, adopted parents. You know, he's got to explain this bill he has, so uh, he's got a universal set or a Nautilus set or something in his apartment. And he has love problems and all, you know, like this, and more human. This Superman is allowed to grapple with his feelings. There's also expected to be more professional rivalry between mild-mannered reporter Clark Kent and that woman of the 80s, Lois Lane. They're young, upwardly mobile people, I guess. Superman, a yuppie? What has Metropolis come to? Jonathan Towers, CNN, Dallas. I'm Brian Christie. Around the world in 30 minutes, this is Headline News.